Voters in East Central Indiana will choose a new member of Congress in November. Congressman Greg Pence in January announced he will not seek another term. That triggered a stampede of Republicans looking to succeed him. We begin with State Senator Jeff Rotz. I've been in the General Assembly or in the Senate for 10 years and, and, and uh, uh, ultimately the decision came down to uh, do I want to stay in Indiana where we get things done or, or go to a place of uh, what I would categorize as chaos uh, in, in a lot of respects. Uh, uh, ultimately uh, the decision came that uh, if people don't go there for the right reasons uh, then Indiana will suffer and every state in the Union will suffer. Uh, if, if we continue uh, the current behavior, uh, w whether it's a divisive politics or some of the policies that are uh, in a, and being implemented and have been implemented and we're, we're playing them out as we speak today. So ultimately that was the decision point. Uh, Indiana is a great place. I think we've, we've done a great job in the Indiana General Assembly making sure that we have a balanced budget and uh, have done a lot of good things. And I'm sure there are pundits out there that would, would disagree with me, but uh, uh, Indiana in a lot of respects is, uh, has become uh, maybe not the destination state we'd like to see yet for economic development because that's the, the trigger in my opinion that helps everybody uh, get a leg up in their life. Uh, and so, but we're on the move. We're certainly not behind. We're being looked at uh, as the number one state in the nation to, to create a new business. And, and then we want to be a destination state as well. So uh, I'm proud to have participated in the, the process to get us where we are today. So right now, immigration and border security are pretty much the top issues this election cycle. On your website, uh, you say that you want to close the border to illegal immigration. How would you do that in practice? The first thing is going to take the uh, ability for the presidency to come alongside Congress and, and because of the executive orders that got us where we are today. Uh, and, and if we could pass legislation, if, if legislation could be passed, which is a secondary part of this, in a perfect world, the president would lock down and say we're going to we're going to close the border. I think it's the number one issue in our nation for security purposes for the issue of illegal drugs coming across the border, and so uh, it's a, somewhat of a replay. Uh, but if we go back about three and a half years, our border was in much better shape than it is today. And if we remember, there were conversation about well, it got out that we're going to do X, and and there'd be a flood of people come across and. and preparation for we we're going to do the next step which is put up a wall or whatever those steps were and so uh, the uh, uh, news cycle runs farther than the borders of the United States of America that was proven there but um, we got some serious issues uh, an incredible amount of people more than uh, we at least re ever recorded as many or more than the population of Indiana so we're in somewhere in the seven million person range and the question is why are we doing it and why are we allowing uh, the the drugs and uh, we, untold we don't know necessarily who's come across the border are they terrorists are they ISIS are we headed for an issue that just happened this past weekend in Russia uh, with the killing of 120 or so people in a uh, auditorium uh, we don't know those things and so this is serious business the state senate took the lead on Indiana's abortion ban. Would you support a nationwide abortion ban if you were in Congress? Uh, I'm, I'm a man of faith first and a, a husband and a father and believe in uh, the traditional family and uh, my answer is yes. Uh, if that came up uh, I would certainly support it. I think uh, you know Indiana we went through some a lot of discussion about this issue uh, but uh, the sanctity of life is important to me. Why not leave that up to the states though? Because in a lot of states where abortion was actually put on the ballot, voters overwhelmingly have voted to expand or maintain access to abortion. Sure. Well, I, I think uh, uh, ultimately uh, when you look at those numbers that I'm talking about, uh, I, don't, I don't know how uh, anybody could put their head on a pillow at night knowing that they could have participated in a situation where he eliminated uh, uh, the possibility of uh, thousands, if Indiana had 700 a month, we're talking thousands and thousands of babies annually, uh, untold numbers, uh, that, that's my answer.
there's responsibility we have as citizenry uh, to do, I think, a personal responsibility as part of this equation, as is all of America, right? We have personal responsibility to follow the law. Uh, and my parallel is um, uh, responsibility, uh, personal responsibility in, in all these situations. So there's been a bit of a rift in the Republican Party over aid to Ukraine and to international alliances and relations more broadly. Where do you fall on that? Well, I, you know, there's some conversation, in, you know, uh, the Ukraine was looked at to be part of, of NATO uh, uh, several years back, and it doesn't appear that it ever happened, I, I don't believe, but nonetheless there were some agreements made, and so do, does the United States as a NATO uh, participant, do we have uh, some kind of a, a uh, requirement to participate over there? That's the first question that we have to ask ourselves, and the second thing is, uh, is it wise to send billions of dollars over there, or is it wise, if we do have an obligation, do we send uh, uh, artillery over there instead of sending money over there? Those are the questions we have to ask ourselves. And ultimately, uh, beginning and end of the day, uh, if Russia plows through, takes out the Ukraine, and that becomes part of Russia, what's beyond that? What's the next uh, endeavor for Russia. That those are things that I, from a uh, foreign uh, landscape, uh, I don't understand some of those things. And so, unless unless a person, what I'm ultimately saying is, unless a person get on the inside and see what those ramifications are, would it change our viewpoint on how we're doing what we're doing?